Hello everybody, welcome back to another Buns video. Um, <clears throat> since there are no World Cups today, it's Friday and there are no World Cup games on. And instead of analyzing a game today, I will be predicting how the World Cup will play out. Now that we're in the um, uh, elimination rounds. And really quick, I'd like to shout out this app, World Cup Russia 2018 Predictor. It's um, uh, made this video possible. Excellent app. You could share your predictions with your friends. Great app. But um, uh, let's get into this video. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos. We make World Cup content all the time. Let's get into it. So in the round of 16, these are matchups. Um, I'll go... I'll go through all the games and select who is going to win, and I'll explain why. So, Uruguay versus Portugal. It'll be Suarez and Coutinho versus Ronaldo. And who will win this game? Well, I look at it, and neither team has amazing depth. Uh, uh, both teams rely on their superstars, or superstar a lot. Uruguay has two. Um, uh, Portugal has one. I feel Uruguay plays better as a team, so I'm giving this game to Uruguay. Next, Russia versus Spain. Um, I do not think this one will be close, even though Russia has gotten a lot of hype because they're the home country, and they have played well at times, very well at times. Um, Spain is just an excellent team, excellent players everywhere. Russia at times looks slow and, um, uh, oafish. So as Spain went in that game is uh, that game. Now France versus Argentina, and this is all round of 16 right now. Keep in mind. So France versus Argentina, and this is a big one. France has a lot of great players: Dembele, um, Pogba, uh, Griezmann. They they got talent everywhere. Um, Argentina has great talent as well, headed by the best player in the world. Both teams have had a hard, a bit of a hard time. Playing really good soccer, though. Both of them are finding their rhythm. So, um, uh, who will find their rhythm first? I think that'll be Argentina with Messi. Messi's, um, uh, you could see him more and more taking over a leadership role, and the team is playing better that way. I think, um, uh, Argentina, by the time they play, will be the better team. Have Argentina beating France, and that's probably a controversial pick, but I'm making it. Now, Denmark versus Croatia. Um, Denmark relies on their one great player a lot, Eric, um, uh, Eric Erickson, that's his name, I'm pretty sure. Everything goes through him. Croatia, I feel, is a much better rounded team. They have players everywhere who are pretty good. It's highlighted by Modric and, um, uh, uh, Rakitic, but I feel them, uh, they have really good players there where they've been coached really well. They play great as a team. They've got shut down defense, great effort everywhere. This team probably is tried hard more than any team in the cup so far. So, I'm giving that game to Croatia. Next, Brazil versus Mexico. And Mexico, you know, beat Germany. That's a great thing, but so did South Korea. So, is that a big accomplishment at this point? I don't know. What I do know is Brazil's loaded. They have Neymar, Marcelo, talent everywhere. This game easily goes to Brazil, I think. Switzerland, Sweden, um, I won't spend much time on this one, as I want to make this a somewhat short video. So, Sweden's winning that, I think. Um, Belgium, Japan, Belgium is loaded, Japan is an average team. Um, this one easily goes to Belgium, who um, uh, has um, Lukaku, who has been one of the best players of the Cup so far. And um, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, who is a top 10 player in the world. And finally, last game of the round of 16 is England versus Colombia. And this is interesting. This will probably be one of the closest games here. Um, uh, Colombia, it's a lot of talent everywhere. They have James Rodriguez. Um, England has a ton of talent as well. Um, they have a tendency to flop the World Cup, but they have talent everywhere. Um, I'm picking England mainly because James Rodriguez is still struggling with a foot injury. And when he's not healthy, the team does not play. Uh, nearly as well. So England there. On to the quarterfinals. And you see the four games right there. We'll start with Uruguay versus Argentina. Messi versus his Barcelona teammate Suarez. Who wins this game? Well, once again, this is a controversial pick. But Messi is the best player in the world. And I think he's finally again his head in this World Cup. And they're beginning to great play great. Is illustrated by that win they had over... I can't even remember the team, that where team they beat. 
I think Argentina wins that game. Also because Uruguay is mainly just um uh, what's his face? I can't even remember his face. Cavani and Suarez. Well, Argentina is much better rounded. That one goes to Argentina. Spain plays Croatia. Um, uh, this is, um, like I said, for Croatia, I feel has a very good team. They all try really hard. Um, unfortunately for them, though, they're going against Spain, who is also a really great team. Um, they also all try hard, but all of their players are premier talent. Well, that is not true at Croatia. I feel this game goes to Spain. Um, I also feel Spain wins that because they've been in this area before, area of the tournament, and they know how to handle this pressure better than the inexperienced Croatian team. Then, Brazil versus Belgium. And this will be really close. If um, uh, the bracket had turned out differently, this could easily be the finals matchup. Um, uh, Belgium's loaded. Brazil's loaded. Who wins this game? Well, I think it'll go to Brazil, mainly because I think I think they just have more to play for. Their country wants them to win so much. I think they'll try just a bit harder. I think Brazil gets that win. Um, another reason I think Brazil gets that win is that their back line is much better than Belgium's. Belgium's back line is a weakness for them. While Brazil has um, uh, great players such as Marcelo on that back line. So Brazil gets the win there. Belgium's out. And now finally, Sweden versus England. Who wins? Well, Sweden is a good team, but obviously England is the better one. And I do not think they will flop, as they now have a very clutch player in Harry Kane, so England gets the win. So, now to the semifinals. Argentina versus Brazil, playing to go to the final. Huge, huge game. Um, last time Brazil was in this situation, they lost 7-1, to one, but they have Neymar now. So how will they do? Well... Let's look at this. So Argentina has the best player in the world in Lionel Messi. But Brazil has a player that's not as good as Messi, but darn near close in Neymar. A guy who could be the best player in the world in just a few years. So now you look at the rest of the team, and I feel Brazil's team is obviously better than Argentina's. Um, uh, Argentina does have a lot of talent in the striker positions. But Brazil just has such a bare rounded team, talent in other areas such as midfield and the back line that I think they'll win this game. And now, um, uh, Spain versus England. Um, uh, this will be a really good matchup, I feel. I think Spain will ultimately win, though, because England is very youthful. They got the second youngest squad in this World Cup at an average age of 24. Spain has one of the most experienced group. Sorry, guys, I had to switch location. But as I was saying, I think experience wins here. I feel Spain is better handled to handle the pressure. Um, another thing is they pass the ball very easily out of tight areas. England tries to play a high press, but even against mediocre teams, I've noticed they tend to not play the high press very well. And against a team like Spain, who can easily get out of those high presses, I think England will get um, a... Uh, cut apart by Spain's precision passing, so that game goes to Spain. So now we have the 2018 World Cup final. Brazil with Neymar versus Spain with all their guys. Who wins? Well, first off, I think this will be a classic game. So who will win it? Well, I think it'll be close. Neymar's a great player. Brazil plays great soccer. They care a ton. Spain cares a ton as well. Um... I think Spain will end up winning, though. Why? Spain, like I said, where they handle pressure so well. I'm not sure Brazil handles pressure as well as Spain does. Brazil is under a lot of pressure. And I think that so much pressure in the final like that, it'll be a bit too much for them. And the experienced Spanish team will be able to take advantage of that and win. So, your final, your 2018 World Cup winner is Spain. We will now win two of the last three World Cups. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Who do you think will win the 2008 World Cup? Buttons out.